Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? I wanted to address this really, really quick. Now, a lot of you saw uh, at the Grammys, which again, I don't watch that award show because I told you I don't think racist white people have the right to evaluate black people. But then maybe that makes me radical because I don't look up to white supremacists. Um, there was uh, something I saw today where uh, two members of the Migos were got into a fight after uh, backstage. Apparently, apparently, uh, you know, there's a conflict between the last two remaining members. You know, Takeoff got killed, and then Offset and Quavo. I think those are the two names. If I get it wrong, forgive me, because I don't really follow the Migos like that. I ain't gonna lie. That, that you know, it just it ain't my thing. However, this is my thing. Black wealth, black men, black families. That is my thing. Two things. One, um, obviously, take off the culture that killed Takeoff is the very same culture that's getting promoted throughout music. That's why a rapper dies every single week. Understand, every time a rapper dies, that's millions of dollars in black wealth that goes down the drain. In many cases, uh, you find out that there's no will, there's no estate plan, uh, there's no assets. Uh, all this is money that you're pretty much donating to white people. Just first thing, first thing you should notice. Second piece on this is uh, the inability of Quavo and uh, the other guy, take, uh, not take Offset, to get along uh, is gonna cost each of their families probably at least a hundred million dollars if they can't resolve this dispute why do i say that well think about this whenever rap groups make a hit song or two and the, the migos had plenty of them i didn't listen to them but there were people who did uh a lot of these groups that are able to stick together like the rolling stones can make money for the next 40 50 years they could literally be 80 years old still rapping songs they did way 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 back in 2023 right it'll be the year 2060 and they're still performing old migo songs and getting money getting literally some of these groups made 10 20 30 40 50 80 100 million dollars a year doing songs that were made in the 1960s uh and so the when you can't get along when you can't resolve your disputes when you can't manage your relationships you lose money wealth dies when black uh, unity dies uh, when black families die, um, when black partnerships die. And a lot of these partnerships die because we have a lot of issues. Uh, conflict resolution is a big problem with a lot of black men. A lot of black men want to settle things by slapping the hell out of somebody or punching them in the face as opposed to actually resolving it like men and saying, OK, look, we got something to protect. Let's sit down and talk about this. Let's put our bitter, petty feelings to the side and let's figure this out. Right. Uh, also, uh, therapy is beneficial, uh, not just in terms of your ability to show up whole and healthy for other people, but your ability to really work things out with other people. You know, uh, a lot of families lose a lot of money, a lot of potential black wealth because the sibling the brother can't talk to the sister and the sister's mad at the cousin and all y'all could be working together getting money together but wh but whatever you have going on whatever toxin that you have whatever uh whatever trauma you have is causing you to uh undermine your own ability to get along with the people that could actually help you do well so next thing you know you're cutting everybody off doing everything by yourself and then you're bragging about it on the internet how often do you see people brag about how many people they cut off this year you're not that's nothing to brag about that means you're losing that means you're doing it all by yourself wealth is a team sport baby i'm sorry i hate to tell you that but that's the truth and if you don't learn that then you're gonna struggle for a real long time so that's my two cents so r.i.p to take off um you know speaking of that issue i remember kanye west called me the morning after takeoff got killed and said let's do a let's do a peace fest or something and and we were planning that i was on the phone with kanye and uh and the other guy from drink champs uh noriega and and i think russell and diddy won the text where so we were going to do something really awesome really epic uh for the black community Community. And again, it kind of got derailed, you know, for similar reasons to what uh, I'm talking about here with the Migo. So what I'm saying is black people, when you can't put your ego to the side and find a way to get along, you're going to lose every time. So that's my two cents. If you want to learn how to build wealth, you got to learn how to build family, you got to learn how to build relationships, you got to learn how to how to show up in the right way for the people that you care about. Uh, because if these two guys in the Migos could sit down and talk it out and figure it out, that's another two, three, four hundred million dollars on the table where they could get money together. Because ain't nobody going to people might go out to see the Migos, you know, with two out of the three. Ain't nobody going to go out and see no Migo. You, that's, you can't do it. Look, look at New Edition. Look at how much money New Edition is making because they were able to overcome 30, 40 years of differences and go out here and still make money together. That's an example of how black unity builds black wealth. 
write that down, teach that to your kids. I talk about that in my new book. My book is called The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power. If you're interested, feel free to go to my website, boycewalkins.com. You could take a look. Also, um, on that page, I have a presentation a lot of you guys like called How to Make Money Without Working. The wealth equation is out there. The formula is easy. I have a PhD in finance. I would love to help you. Take care, guys. I'm about to actually, I'm learning how to fly airplanes. So I'm actually literally about to go and, and uh, work on my pilot's license. So I'll see you guys later because I'm trying to fly too. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.